Here along Highway 38 is the Umpqua River. It is by far one of the most beautiful rivers in Oregon and is 111 miles long in total. It says here that the river drains an expansive network of valleys in the mountains west of the Cascade Range and south of the Willamette Valley, from which it is separated by the Kalapalooza Mountains. <laughs> Thank God I can read Wikipedia. I was trying to make some stuff up and it just wasn't working. Just look at that water. That is a perfect place to get a jet boat. So if anybody has one, let me know. Like we do have smoke out here. We do. See that black dog's trying to run me over? Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah. We got some more motorcycles. Right. Got the wild windy hair going on. I'm digging it. You see, it's pretty popular though. A lot of people stop here. up ahead ambulance just drove by well hopefully whatever happened no one got hurt Like we got some other motorcyclists here. All right, I think this is Jackson's Cafe, right? Stop and get some lunch. Just had a state trooper, the local sheriff. Apparently, there's something going on over there. The scene is all cut to shit. So what happened was we parked next to an RV, and this sheriff vehicle couldn't see us, and he came hauling us by, and got really close to me. And all the other people around just stopped and looked, and were like, "Holy hell!" 
He didn't hit me though, so it's all good. All right, so Mexican food, Jackson's menu. Cafe. God, there's all kinds of sirens. I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but they just keep coming. So yeah, they're just going right there. It's all cops. Yeah, just a bunch of, first with a sheriff and then a couple. Maybe that ambulance was going there. Remember that ambulance? Yeah, yeah, he was coming away from it, going the other way. No, he was, he went by us. He was yeah, he, oh, yeah, you're right. yeah, he yeah. went past us. He so could have come to us. Yeah. Yeah, so more than likely he's this in the same spot. This has breakfast all day plus a, a lunch and dinner menu. Okay. This has got all kinds of good stuff. All right, so Jackson's? Mark just wants to go wherever there's hot dogs. All right, we're doing Jackson's. Here we're heading south on Orc Rock Road. Now I can't recall for certain, but I think this was filmed on the 14th of September. Now usually in early August, this whole place is covered because of Doomfest. And looking online, August 2nd through the 7th, 2022, might have it next year. I had no idea what this lake was called until just now when I was editing this video I looked it up online it's called Wohink Lake which is right next to Honeyman Memorial Park So that little car in front of me there, he tried to push me off the road because he couldn't fit between me and the RV in front of me. Really nice guy. So I know for a lot of riders, everyone or most of these guys are aware that, you know, 126 to the coast and taking 38 to the coast, these are common roads to take when you're on a motorcycle. But when you want to see some pictures or footage online, you can almost never find anything. So if you're coming from out of state and you just want to get a good look at these roads just to see what it's all about, there's nothing really available. So that's one of the things that motivates me to actually uh, film some of these roads is just to to see if it's worth your time to come check it out. Obviously, just by judging from from these, just from the mountains and the rivers, I mean, I think it's all gorgeous, but nonetheless, it might not be for everyone.
Just watching this footage makes me feel relaxed. I know there's a lot of stress and pressure in the world today, but if you can find that one thing that can bring you some peace through a creative outlet, hold on to it and invest yourself in it.
think this is technically a park along North River Road, but I can't find a name for it. So maybe it's not a park. I don't know. Okay, we're coming near the end of the video here. I just wanted to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video, and hopefully I'll have some more for you soon. I'm learning a lot from editing these videos, so I'm sure over time you're going to see the quality change as I move forward. There will be more material, more to view, and of course uh, more motorcycles, but it won't just be about motorcycles. My goal is to also have more material being off the bike, so more for you soon. Thanks again.